Hi everyone, it's Linnea here for Trinity Stamps. Welcome to the Holiday Happy Dance video hop to celebrate the new release from Trinity Stamps. I'm going to be creating a two for one card design today using the mini slimline Celtic twist die. Now this die is going to cut a panel that is perfectly sized for a mini slimline card. So this cuts a panel that's three by six inches. I've cut mine from some white cardstock and I'm going to use this as a stencil. That's going to be how I create my two for one design. So I've sprayed the back of that white piece of cardstock that I cut using that mini slimline Celtic twist die. I've sprayed the back of it with some pixie spray and I'm going to adhere this onto a piece of white cardstock. This white cardstock is larger than what I need, but that's okay. That's going to give my hand somewhere to hold on to so that I don't get my fingers inky. I wanted to go for a rainbow design and keep this card bright and happy. So I've just decided to go with three colors of Distress Oxide inks and I will overlap them to form my rainbow. I'm going to start with the center using some mustard seed ink and I'm going to ink up the center of this mini slimline Celtic twist die. Remember that I have the positive die cut piece and this is sitting on top of a piece of white cardstock. So I am right now using that die cut piece as a stencil so that as my ink goes on top of the white cardstock, it's going to ink up not only that positive die cut piece, but my ink is going to go through that die cut onto that second white piece behind that. And so I'm going to get two card fronts out of one panel. I'm being sure to overlap my inks using my blending buddies so that I get a nice rainbow effect. I started with that yellow just so that I wouldn't cross contaminate my lightest color and then I brought the pink down into the yellow to create orange and I brought blue up from the bottom into the yellow to create green. Now watch when I peel this back I have a really pretty blend on that Celtic twist die as well as on that secondary piece. I cut that secondary piece down to three by six inches so that it would be the size of a card front and now I'm just going to add some black ink spatters. This is something that I like to do when I have a simple ink blended background. I feel like it just pulls the whole piece together. So I grabbed my black watercolor and just some water and I'm just going to use a paintbrush. I think this is a size 6 brush. And I'm just going to flick on some black watercolor onto both of these panels so that they both look cohesive. I wanted this to be a card set. I have the new Simply Sentimental Thanks stamp set as well as the coordinating dies. And I am going to use the shadow dies from the die set along with that large 4x8 stamp set to create some thanks sentiments. So I used some black ink and I took the three large, uh, a large, a medium, and a small thanks word and I stamped them with black ink. And now I'm going to use those shadow dies to cut them out. You can use just the die set if you want. Uh, the die set was going to cut out the word thanks and then you can glue them onto the shadow but I find it such a time saver to stamp the word and then cut it out using those shadow dies. I'm going to stamp these or stack these rather small to large right on top of my card fronts. I created two card bases that are size three by six inches. My actual die cut panel, the one that is how it's intended to be used, the one that I have in my hands here. I glued onto some black cardstock. I love the way those colors pop against the black. And then I'm just going to add some foam tape behind those thanks sentiments and pop them up. I decided to keep my second piece, my stenciled piece here, white on white. So I have one that has that gorgeous color on top of black and then that gorgeous color on top of white. Let me know which one you like better. This video is part of a video hop, so I will leave the link to the next person in the video description below. You can hop on through and see all of the inspiration using the new Trinity Stamps release. And remember to leave comments at each stop for your chance to win a prize. And there is also another hop on Instagram. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye.